Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. We find ourselves in McLeod yet again, continuing the messages of the channeling retreat. I want to review yesterday's message and continue it. We talked about that which was linear and nonlinear and what it meant. It gave you the opportunity to appreciate something that you don't understand yet that is outside of your reality. It gave you the examples of some things that are nonlinear that you already participate in. And all of that was to bring you to this message. And the message today is again about something that is new to you because it is not linear and yet extremely usable and something that has been hiding for centuries. And when we say hiding, we mean it's outside of the purview of what you believe. But suddenly, due to this newer energy on this planet and an awakening and light, it's becoming a bit more obvious. We're going to talk about the field. We're going to define it for you in only simple ways that you might understand or not, but it won't confuse you. A moment ago, Alcazar said something. He said the field is something that invites you to find the potential. And so there is the idea that there's something hovering over you that belongs to you but that you're not really aware of yet, but you have an invitation to participate in it. Now, if that isn't multidimensional, nothing is. For suddenly there is a premise that there's something beyond what you see. Definition of the field is a multidimensional soup of potentials that are unrealized for humanity, civilization, and each and every human. A multidimensional soup of potentials that already exist for civilization, humanity, and every single human being. Now this is a tough one to explain because in linearity most human beings believe they're simply in survival. Things happen by accident. And they live their lives the best they can in a linear form. But their reality is that they're always subject to chance. And the reality is that reality that they understand and know actually belongs to, to their area, not to them. And they carefully then navigate in their area, hoping to survive without accidents, without disease, without all of these things. But the reality that you are starting to see is bigger. What if there were multiple potentials for each of you, for civilization, for your country, for all of these things that are already there waiting with your choice to be manifest. That would mean that you could then control or at least participate in your reality. You look at the stage and the three who are here. Do you really believe that they accidentally fell into what they're doing? And you know their stories, and you know that those stories were guided with their intent. And the intent that they have given is the same as two channels ago when the parable of woe, when he was asked, 
what is your statement? And he said, tell me more. The channels of today, even, just these channels, have echoed that over and over. Where have you heard the expression, yes? <laughs> Say yes. Say yes. And this is the second thing, even today, which says the same thing. And that is, there are potentials, unrealized, ready for you. You know, dear ones, Humanity has always known that there's something beyond that which you know. How many times have we told you that when you have a civilization that all seemingly believes in the afterlife, there is an acknowledgement that there's something beyond. But in all cases, that's after you leave. What about something beyond that is present in the now? You've heard that too. There are so many issues that we could look at that actually show humans understand that it is here. But what they do with it is interesting. Now a physicist already understands this. Perhaps not at a spiritual level. But the experiments are starting to show things beyond what they know that are non-linear and we spoke about that yesterday they are seeing time issues that they didn't expect they're seeing location issues they didn't expect begging the question is physics complete or could there be more let me tell you a few things just a few things that humans already think about and intellectually are aware of that beg this question yet again, is it really what you think? Perhaps you have heard a philosophy. Now this philosophy is also by, by those esoteric and intellectual and even scientists. It's a philosophy uh, that is uh, one that asks this. The philosophy is a, is a question about your existence. Is it true that you may be living life in many dimensions at once. Now you've heard this. Is it possible that you with your name and your body and your soul is actually in many places at the same time, many dimensions, living the same kind of life but different realities? Indeed, you've heard this. Now what if I tell you that model is exactly what we're speaking of, but instead of multiple dimensions, you have multiple potentials. And they all exist at the same time, and they're ready for you to take them. And instead of dimensions of you living in lives in different worlds and, and different places, you're here, all of you, with different potentials. Layer, 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 different potentials. Let me go a step further. You may have heard of psychics and readers that will go out into the ethers, that's the field, and they will bring back prophecy. And the prophecy that they will bring back sometimes is very, very dark. They will bring back that, the doom and gloom. They'll even give it a date. Because this is what they saw clearly. What they have done, dear ones, is go into the field and pick up a potential, bring it back and broadcast it. Now you might say, well, why didn't they see better potentials? And here's where it gets very understandable. Because human nature, the old energy, humanity in general, is at a very low consciousness level. That's why you're here. That's why you're here to hear these things about an increase in consciousness. But right now, many readers and many psychics will go out and they will only see the darkest potential because that's the energy they live in. Are you understanding this? 
And they will bring back then that potential. And they'll give you the doom and the gloom. And they'll give it a date and it doesn't happen. Over and over, it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. That ought to give you a clue as to what's going on. And then there are the ones that are really interesting. You may or may not be aware that your government pays remote viewers. And they believe in the field. Because too many times these that they have hired will come back and say here is a potential, here is a potential, here is a potential. And they're accurate. Many times you have actually dodged difficult negative things that people are planning for you because those who can see and sense the field see the potential and help guide those who are interested to protect you. So it is known that somehow, some way, things that may happen are in the field. So this is starting to be recognized. It even gets better. Artists have used the field for decades, for eons, for centuries. How does one pick out of the air the masters that painted those images? Where does that come from? I'll give you an example that you'll understand. Sometimes artists who are sculptors are asked the question, how did you envision that beautiful sculpture, that statue, that today sits there as a masterpiece? How did you envision that? Now in linearity, you would think, well, I started chipping away all of the stones and then I shaped it and it became something that I understood and one thing became another and all that. And that is not the way it worked at all. In fact, they are very clear about it. They said, we see it in the stone and we chip away the things that don't belong. That's the field. So the potential of the sculpture always is ex existed in the field and all they did was to manifest it by chipping away what didn't belong there. By chipping away what didn't belong there. I want to also give you a dark example, but something that is very, very understandable. You have a lot of stories and movies about dark entities who will come and frighten you in the dark, things go bump in the night. You call them horror films. It's an acknowledgement of things that are multidimensional. Now if you weigh that against how many angel films you've had, you're going to see a trend. What you have done with that belief and that knowledge that there are multidimensional energies is to take them to the lowest level. And in doing that you have created monsters and evil spirits. That comes right from a low human nature. So I'll say it here, I'll say in the future, look for that which is a little more light. Especially in some of the films and stories which will be heroic and will involve that which is perhaps supernatural in an angelic way. Let's give you another example. This one is personal because it involves what I'm doing with you. 1989 I came into this planet and I began telling you something. In 1989 there will be no Armageddon. By 1993, when the first book was presented, it was there for all to see. There would be no Armageddon. This information was not what you were looking at at the time in Scripture and in others who were presenting the future. Whether it was Nostradamus or whether it was the Scriptures you had, they all told you differently. 
you were headed for a juncture that would perhaps be the end of civilization and that all that had led up to it the inventions of the weapons and the wars you've had would indicate that it was going to happen you were in the middle of a cold war would indicate it would happen and then it didn't now there are those who would say well does that mean cryon you can predict things and the answer is no you see humans have free choice what is that choice people have asked what do you mean that free choice and now we get to the field you have free choice to accept the potentials that are in the field for you to say yes but if you simply sit there nothing happens you really are a victim of chance not understanding there is a plan and there are multiple opportunities to take that which is existing and unmanifest that you can have and that has been the message so what I gave you at that time was the potential that was the greatest for the planet that you would soar beyond 2000 beyond 2012 and that a new energy was here 13 months before you got a new pope I gave you that information it was not a fortune telling event the potential was brewing it was there it was happening and it did this is an example dear ones not of someone who has special abilities or gifts this is an example of reading the field and knowing things were were potentially there only with free choice but what I gave you were the highest potentials not something that was actually going to happen yesterday I spoke about this the North Korean leader because I had spoken about it years earlier of the potentials of his shift and indeed they happened was that fortune telling I give you these examples to validate and verify that this exists this is real that there is a field a multi-dimensional super potentials where you are involved in so many layers of possibilities that all you have to do is reach up and begin and start and say yes and see them all of this to give you the idea that the field exists and it begs also that question what is real and the answer to what is real is this it's whatever you choose <laughs> and that is controversial there are those who believe God has a plan for this earth and, and that's just it that's what's going to happen and that's not so God has a plan for this earth and that is to now expose the most light so that with free choice you might see it and choose it and take it and work with it and understand you are not a victim of this planet for you to go places and do things that are in the field that you have been dreaming about and never realized you can manifest there's a number of books to be written in this place and you know who I'm talking about there's healings to be taken and used and worked with I'm talking about the healers there's healings for you to accomplish that haven't happened yet and they're going to happen and you're going to know when they do that you're working with the field more than you ever did before there are those in the room who are going to walk out of this place without what they came in with which is inappropriate whether it's grief or whether it's disease because you you're, you're queuing into this and you're understanding oh you mean I have choice of a reality yes are you living in multiple dimensions kind of and a few of them show an absolute healed human being fresh and happy and using that's the one we're inviting you to go to that's real and I've just given you case after case of the examples that it is real 
The old soul on this planet who sits in this room and perhaps listening to this message will be the one who starts to practice it, to try it, to work with it. Many others will say it's not true. It's not real. And will go their own way, not understanding that you really are in charge of what happens to you. When we say go from this place differently, that's what we mean. That you're looking at the potentials in the field that you never really thought you could control or, or be part of. And they are, they're you. They have your name on them. And they exist right above you. Look there. There they are. Which one do you want? The one you sit in? Or the potential that's always been there? That might be exactly what you've dreamed about all your life. This is a new reality this is a new paradigm. This goes out of linearity. Because there's light here that's starting to show. Dear ones, we love you. And so it is.